Hi guys, it's Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. So on a video I uploaded last week, someone commented requesting that I tell you guys the pros and the cons of attending the University of Alaska Southeast. So UAS is a school that not a lot of people know about and you really only go here unless you knew someone who went here, you've already heard of it before applying to schools or um, you lived in Juneau or Alaska, like Ketchikan or Sitka or Anchorage or somewhere along those lines. I did not hear about UAS until I already started applying to colleges back in October 2020. So I am trying to put UAS out there more for you guys to learn about because if you look it up, there's really not a lot about it because it is definitely a small school. So if you guys have any video requests about Alaska or UAS or just life or marine biology in general, please make sure to comment them down below. I am always open to making videos that you guys want to see. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's dive in. First, we're gonna start off with the pros because you know, gotta start off on a high note. So the first pro to attending UAS is it is a small school, but that brings you to more hands-on opportunities. There are probably less than 25 students in my chemistry class with lab and lecture combined. So relatively very, very small classes. I know the ecology class has probably like 12 students in its lab, 15 students in its lab. So since you have smaller classes, you're going to get more hands-on experience and get more research opportunities from your professors and just get so much more opportunity that say, UC San Diego could offer because they are serving so many students and they have so many students to accommodate for. And at UAS, they really only have less than 30 kids in a class to accommodate for. So that was a really, really big decision in deciding to attend UAS. I really never wanted to go to a big school. My top choice at first was Cal State Monterey Bay, which if you guys have been to that school, it is very small compared to any other Cal State campuses. And then UAS is literally so incredibly small and I love going to a small school. So if you guys love going to small schools and you want more hands-on experience, definitely consider UAS. Pro number two is UAS has a great class selection. So I am talking personally about the marine biology courses. I know they do have great courses for other majors, but UAS really tries to focus on marine biology and environmental science and fisheries. So if you're interested in majoring in fisheries, outdoor studies, marine biology, environmental science, UAS is definitely a high contender or should be a high contender on your list. If you ask anybody at this school, what's your major? They're either going to say marine biology, environmental science, fisheries, or biology in general. There are a few like education majors, liberal arts majors mixed in with us, but UAS is definitely a very, very STEM heavy school. And the courses that they provide for their STEM students, specifically marine biology students, are amazing. I highly recommend you guys going to UAS's website and checking out all the courses that they offer for any major in STEM because they are phenomenal. Pro number three is UAS was actually ranked number 10 in the nation for marine biology, which for a small school is extremely high. And I know it ranked number 10 instead of number like three or four because it is so small and not a lot of people know about it. Like I said, unless you have already heard of UAS, you knew someone who graduated from here, or you live in Alaska, no one really knows about UAS. I remember when I was moving up here, I would tell people like, oh, I'm going to UAS. And they're like, University of Arizona. And I'm like, no, University of Alaska. But it is definitely safe to say UAS has a very, very powerful and strong marine biology program. Pro number four is UAS is very cheap. Since it is a small school and not a lot of people know about it, the tuition is much, much smaller. And the fact that it's in Alaska and not many people think of Alaska as a state like, oh, I really wanna move to Alaska. 
So I pay less in out-of-state tuition in Alaska than I would pay for in-state tuition back home at California. I'm not gonna say specifically how much um, my mom and I have paid for my college because that is obviously nobody's business. I'm just gonna say it was way less than what I would pay in California's in-state tuition at even a Cal State, one of their cheapest universities. Pro number five is UAS is huge in sustainability. They are constantly making renovations to improve their sustainability. Like right now, they're slowly but surely replacing every drinking fountain in our campus areas and our campus buildings with the um, I don't know what they're called, hydration stations, I think, but you can like put your hydro flask underneath it and it'll fill it up. And they're so cool because they tell you like how many water bottles you're saving. I know my community college had maybe one or two, but Juno is really, really big in sustainability. Just Alaska in general is very respectful of wildlife and their land. They have a lot of indigenous people here and indigenous people are very, very, very respectful of the land, the ocean, and everything in between. And I'm so happy UAS is following in their footsteps and following their path to sustainability. UAS does have a club for sustainability and I really, really wanted to join, but I genuinely do not have any more time for a club or a sport or anything. Um, YouTube recently just became my part-time job. I am now making a couple bucks of side money from YouTube, so I am so, so, so excited about that. And then I have full-time school, and I work 20 hours a week on campus, so no time for clubs for Michaela. But yes, UAS is huge in sustainability, and I'm so excited to see where they go with it next. Pro number six is Juno is absolutely beautiful. You have glaciers, you have the northern lights, you have so much beautiful scenery. We are in the middle of, I believe it's the Tonga, Tonga, Tongas National Forest. I'll put the name on the screen because I genuinely do not remember the name. I know it starts with a tong. I just don't know the ending of it. I knew it, but I forgot it. There's, the wheels are always turning up here information doesn't stay long. But we are a 15 minute walk from the harbor and on sunny days, it is so incredibly beautiful. It's just such an amazing place to live if you have a genuine appreciation for wilderness and for the ocean. I'm just so excited for spring to start and then fall is supposed to be incredibly beautiful as well. Pro number seven is Juno has incredible fishing, hiking, Anything outdoors that you want to do, Juno has it. And that kind of ties along with my last pro. Juno is just so beautiful. They have so much beautiful hiking, like I said, fishing, whale watching, photography, just everything about Juno is beautiful. Pro number eight is the freshman dorms are actually pretty nice. I'm in a freshman dorm right now. Um, if you guys don't know about that situation, go watch another one of my videos where I talk about why I'm living in a freshman dorm. But yeah, that's just another like small thing to add in. Um, that We have nicer dorms than pretty much all of California state schools. Just putting that out there. And lastly, pro number nine is you pretty much feel like you're on vacation. When me and my roommate go out and do something, I have to like take a step back and I'm like, I'm not on vacation here. I live here and I'm literally living in a place where people dream to come and vacation and come and take a cruise to. And it's just, I love it here so much. As with everything in life, there are pros and there are cons. As beautiful as Juno is and as great as a school UAS is, there definitely is a few cons, so let's jump into those. Con number one was not a really big deal breaker for me, but I know there are some people out there who are gonna be like, no, like I don't wanna go to this school now because there are limited clubs and sports. I actually don't even know if we have sports teams. I know we have a basketball team, but it's definitely not ran like Texas or te like Tennessee or any schools. Like we don't have a football team. We don't have a cheer team. We don't have like big sports. I think we have like recreational sports, if that makes sense, that play in our rec center if you want to. And we probably have seven clubs. That's about it. And 
that's it. Like our school is very, very small. So if you're interested in joining a particular club or joining a sports team, UAS is probably not the school for you but people who come to UAS are coming pretty much to genuinely study. They're not coming to have like the party college experience. Con number two is you tend to feel secluded. And what I mean by that is you are so far away from the United States. If you guys have ever looked at a map of Alaska, you, there's Alaska, then there's Canada, then there's North America. And even in Juneau, you feel like you're on an island because you're pretty much trapped within a mountain range and you can't like drive to another city. I know people from Hawaii can definitely agree with me on this, but since we are so far away from the United States and we are kind of like, we're basically on our own little island. We can't really leave here. It definitely tends to feel secluded. I, I really haven't felt like that. I definitely kind of feel out of touch with like everyone back at home. If it wasn't for social media, I would be like so out of the loop because Alaska really doesn't hear about the United States news unless it pertains to Alaska or something like super, super big, like the election. But yeah, other than that, we're pretty much like our own little country up here. <laughs> Con number three is even though Juno is incredibly beautiful, the weather is not for everyone. Let me show you the weather right now. So this is what it is looking like right now. I personally think it is beautiful. You guys have seen this view a million times by now, but I just think it is so much more beautiful with snow on it. So it has been like that for the past week. And then the week before that we had like six or seven days of sunshine. And the week before that it was snowing and raining for like a month straight. So this weather is definitely not for everyone. It is like Seattle. It rains pretty much all year from what my roommate has told me, either rain or snow. We get a few sunny days here and there, like little chunks of sunny days. I actually think tomorrow is supposed to be like sunny overcast and I'm so excited. But yes, this weather is definitely not for everyone. I don't think everyone from Southern California would thrive up here. I personally really, really love it up here. I don't know what draws me to Juno, but something just drew me here. I love the snow and I really want to learn how to snowboard. So I'm excited to do that while I'm here. But taking vitamin D is a must up here. I take a vitamin C and D gummy like vitamin and it definitely helps because there's like literally no uv rays i looked up the uv index when it was like bright and sunny not a cloud in the sky and it was literally two it would be like nine or ten at home in that situation the summer from what my roommate has told me is beautiful and the fall is also beautiful but the other like three-fourths of the year is pretty much like what I just showed you guys. <laughs> Con number four is transportation is pretty tricky. So there is a shuttle that takes you around campus. Our science building is about a mile away and our rec center is about half a mile away. So the shuttle takes you to all those stops. But other than that, there really is no transportation other than the bus or if you know someone that has a car. Not a lot of students up here have cars. Um, taxi is a really, really big transportation and bus. I think there's like one Uber and maybe one Lyft throughout the day. So transportation is a little bit tricky up here. Lastly, con number five is shipping is a bit. Let me tell you, there is no Amazon Prime up here. Amazon Prime takes roughly a week to deliver to you if it's on time. I've had a package take two and a half weeks to get to me. And Amazon, you'll look on your app and it'll say, this package is lost. But that's literally because Amazon has no clue where it is after it leaves Washington. Because it goes from Washington to Alaska, which takes either two weeks on the barge or two days, I believe, if it goes by plane. So you're either gonna get it on time or two weeks late. And that's pretty much with everything shipped up here. And it's expensive like i'm going home in around a week and i'm literally just having everything shipped home and then i'm taking it right back up because i won't have to worry about it being two and a half weeks late but yeah not a really big deal breaker but just something to be aware of when you move up here all right guys those were my pros and my cons of attending the university of alaska southeast i hope you guys enjoyed like i said if you have any video requests make sure you comment them down below and while you're down there, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We are so close 
to 2,000 subscribers. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.